Okay, today I start with part two of the Corel Video Studio 2019 series. Today we will be going over transitions and titles. I have prepared three clips for us to practice with to place our transitions in and a title in. So, let's get started. Okay, so let's begin. The same as last time, I have clicked add. I have created my file folder that I want to work out of and let's load in the clips the sample clips I already have that folder pulled up so I can load my files and I have moved those into the library if that went a little bit too quick you can watch episode one or part one of the Corel training series so let's continue on. I have my clips loaded up and I am ready to work with them. Click no on that. I'm going to go ahead and load all of them up into the timeline, the video timeline. I have all three loaded. I will have to trim before I add in the transition effect and the title. So I open up sound mixer so I can watch the sound waves and once again I have dead air that needs to be cut I will place the scrubber to make those cuts it's the first one to be there my mouth is still closed I want to cut that clicking delete that is gone. Just right after that, I also want to make my cut and delete. Now that first squiggle, I want to cut just before it. I place my scrubber right before this little bitty squiggle right here you probably can't see it on your screen but I can see it perfectly fine I click cut and delete Okay, I'll give myself a little bit of space to add in a transition. So I will cut there. I'll drag that scrubber, giving myself a little bit of space for the transition. I will only take out about half of that dead space there. So I can place a transition. Delete. Okay, I want to add a transition in this area and this area. So let's remove the sound mixer. Okay, and before we start adding titles and transitions to this video, let's just play the raw clipped versions with no transitions so you can see the hard edges to it and so you can see the benefits of the transition. So let's play this trimmed clips all three together before the transition effects. Okay, this is just a demonstration on how easy it is to create transition effects in Corel Video Studio. Okay, now just walking through the house. And now just walking outside. So I can have three different scenes to create the transition effect on. It's kind of cold today. Come up here, click transition. 
this opens up your transition panel. These are all the different effects that we can use. You have everything from 3D confetti, 3D pizza boxes, accordion, otterage, arrows, bars, circles, burn, cross, going on through here. You have a flashback, you have a gate, iris, where it'll transition left, it has a flying cube, twist. Now all these transition effects here, these stripes and stars and twists, I use those very sparingly. It gets a little bit cheesy and monotonous if you use it on every single transition. Try not to use these too often because it'll just look cheesy. I'll use them on a major transition where I'll be outside and now I'm inside. I'll use a major transition like that. But for the most part what I use is this otterage. It just fades. It just makes those hard edges. It smooths out those hard edges. It makes it a more eye clean or more eye pleasing I should say. So, let's continue on. How to add in these transitions. The first one I will do an otterage so you can see what that looks like. And then the next one I will put in one of these crazy ones that I'm not particularly fond of. But they're kind of cool to use every once in a while. Not often, just every once in a while. So, all we have to do, click and hold on my mouse the second clip and let's just drag it over a little bit okay you see how it's just merged into the first clip and there's already a transition there so I'm going to go back into my transition and I want to place otterage here so how to do that is I click otterage and drag it over here Now I have Otterage transition effect placed in there. Now to open up the options panel, I just double click that area. I just double click that transition and that brings up the transition, the transition options panel. Okay, I don't do much customizing here. I can increase the softness of the edge, the color, I could place borders, I could do some kind of customizing thing. I don't do any of that stuff. Okay, I can also add it to my favorites. I don't do that. I just want to adjust the time a little bit. Now I can have a long transition where I could put in a second and it really blends. You really see It really takes a long time to blend in and the two clips merge together for just a split second and you can see that. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll put in one second. A one second transition so you can see how that merges from one clip to the next. Okay. I have it hit enter on my keyboard so you can see I have a one second transition here. I normally do not do that unless I'm wanting to do some kind of cinematic effect where I'm blending and in a couple videos from now, as a matter of fact the next video that I make, I'm using FX and pan and zoom that'll be episode 3, you'll see how these long transitions can look cool in a cinematic scene but for now normally I would just put that in for maybe a quarter of a second I would use 0.25 and that would be good enough to soften that edge of one clip to the next alright continuing on scene 3 I will use one of those crazy transitions Let's go back to here. And let's just use 3D confetti just 
so you can see the differences in the transitions. So I'm going to click and hold 3D confetti and drag that in. Okay. I do not want that to be a long, I'm double clicking there, I do not want that to be a long sequence. So I'm going to leave that at the standard 0 .007. Okay, I can also make changes to that if I wanted to. I do, I do not want to. I just want to do this as a demonstration so you can see what that looks like. Okay. Now, let's come over here your viewing screen let's click project and drag the scrubber all the way to the beginning and let's view that okay this is just a demonstration on how easy it is to create transition effects in Corel Video Studio okay now just walking through the house and now just walking outside so I can have three different scenes to create the transition effect on kinda cold today okay that's it for the transitions let's go on and place a title in there I'm going to just click in here to drag that to the beginning or in the first scene rather let's come down here click title I'll come up here I'll click title so I can open up all the different options these are my title options Okay. Some of these just take way too long to develop. I don't like them. Some people may like them. Some some of these are just kind of cheesy to me. So I prefer just the more simple ones. Here lately I haven't even been including a title into my videos just I think they just look cheesy after a while but for demonstration let's choose this simple one here so I decided I want to use this one it's just a simple fade in fade out title and I am going to click and drag this to the title one timeline okay I have placed this title effect into title one in the timeline and now I want to edit this so I will double click and now it's on my screen I can edit this I will double click in there and I will take out that and I will just type in GS couch all right I will double click on that again to bring that back up now I have different options I can come over here to alignment and I can click here align center and I'll place it right into the center of the screen or I can go center top and to each side let's just place it up here align top left for now so it won't cut across my face eh, how about we just put it on align bottom center so it just goes across my chest there we go okay let's say you do not like this color or the size so all you have to do is just double click in this area and highlight it now I come up here 
you have a simple color palette and say you don't like the white so you want to you really like the color yellow we'll just click yellow and you don't like the size of that this here this will change the size of the font size this will change your font size you can go bigger let's say we go 125 and you don't like the font Arial Black, you would rather try something else. I know I'm kind of going backwards on this, but that's uh, just the way it is. Say you want to use this one. Okay. Since that's a big font, we'll change the size of that to 95 and realign okay let's say you're happy with it you click out of it and now that'll fade in and fade out now right now it is only set to fade in and fade out a total of three seconds that'll be visible so really it'll only be visible for a second time it fades in and fades out you want the duration to be longer let's say six seconds I type in the number six here for six seconds and that title will be longer so let's play that we'll click project my scrubber is at the beginning let's click play trim clip okay this is just a demonstration on how easy it is to create transition effects in Corel Video Studio. Okay, now just walking through the house. And now just walking outside. So I can have three different scenes to create the transition effect on. It's kinda cold today. Okay, and that is pretty much it. That's It's as easy as that. And that's all there is to it. You have all these different options you could place in here. Like I said, you could change the duration of how long that transition takes. You could change, here's your different title options. Double click in that area to bring up the menu. Here's all your different options of the title and this is where you place them and that is how easy it is to place them I know that this is a little bit of a cheesy font but it's just for demonstration on how you change it change the font type the font size the font color the alignment and where to place it in the timeline if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the bell so you'll know when our next upload is. See you guys.